Yo, what's going on, guys? Then we are for simple snippets, and welcome back to the ninth video tutorial under the web development series, wherein we are using Bootstrap to develop a complete portfolio website from scratch. So, if you've been following this entire playlist up until now, this is where we have reached. We have developed the complete navigation bar and the header, as well as this navy blue footer, which you can see. So, this is something that we've been developing since the past couple of videos. And if you have missed any of the videos, I'll drop the entire playlist link in the video description, and you can probably also see a card. So do check them out first. And what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be creating all the different web pages. And since we know that the navigation bar, that is this top header section as well as this footer section, is always going to be common in all the web pages. That is the portfolio page, about us page, contact us page, and all these services pages. We're going to be copy pasting this code and adding it to all these pages. So if you see the original website, if you go on portfolio, you can see the navigation is always the same and the footer is always going to be the same. Coming to the about us again, the navigation is same, and below over here the footer is the same, right? So up until now in the code, if you see, we have only made one default HTML page, which is basically our home page, which has this much code that is the header section code and the footer section code. So what we'll do is we'll quickly add all the different pages. So let's see how many pages we need. We need portfolio about us and contact us, and this disabled login and my account. We are not doing it because this was just for representation purpose. This is a portfolio static website, so we are only going to be creating portfolio about us and contact us page at the top level. And under the services, we have web designing, web development, SEO. So these are individual pages. So if you click on it, you can see web development is being opened. So it's a separate page which is termed as web development or HTML. Coming to the home page, we have already created default or HTML, which is basically our home page. You can see from the title. Let's create about us. So I'm going to right click over here. I'm going to say new file. I'm going to say about us dot html. If I hit enter, the html file is created. Now you can also go to your test code folder and you can create separate html pages over here also. But since we have the editor and we have the facility to create it over here, let's do it here itself. The next page is portfolio, so I'm going to say new file portfolio dot html. Make sure you give the extension as dot html because it's a html document, right? Lastly, we have contact us. So I'm going to say contact us dot html. So we have created the top level pages. Of course, we have not added anything inside. The next thing is these web designing, web development, SEO, software development, mobile app development, and graphic designing pages. So I'm quickly going to add them in the same way. You can pause the video and create these pages also. We're not going to waste a lot of time. Okay, so as you can see, I have added all the pages about us, contact us. And portfolio, then we have the default that is the home page. We have graphic design, mobile apps, SEO services, software development, web designing, and web development. So, all of them I've created over here. I'm just gonna close all of them right now. All of these pages are blank. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy paste this entire structure. We're gonna say copy and we're gonna paste it in all these individual pages. But before we do that, let's add all the links to the different navigation list items also. So right now, if you scroll down, you can see we have given the href as hash, which means coming to our website. If we click on any of this, we are not being located or relocated to other web pages, right? You can see in the URL we have we are getting a hash sign. So right now we are not pointing to these web pages. So we also need to add their respective addresses. And since we are in the same folder, we just need to give the web page name over here in the href. So let's say we had some other folder. Then we'll have to give the folder hierarchy over here. Okay, makes sense. So in the home, since we are on the home page that is default.html, we can keep it as it is. So for the web designing thing, we have to change this to if we hit space, control space, you can see the different options are coming in. We have to select web designing over here. Similarly, for here, we have to select web development. For here, we have to select SEO services. Here, we have to select software. And in the IntelliSense, you get the option just select it. Here, you have to select mobile apps. In fact, here also, I'm also going to select default.html. No need to give hash. You can keep it hash for those respective pages. So, if you are on default.html, the link to itself can be kept as hash, or you can also keep it default.html. That is, the page will reload. Coming to the portfolio, this is portfolio.html, this is about us.html, and this is contact us.html. Okay, so these were the links for the navigation. Now, if you see, if I click on it, 
you can see i'm redirected to portfolio.html in the url but right now we know that we've just created these html pages and there is no html elements inside so that's why we are getting a blank page if you hit back you come back to our original page so these links are working we also need to add links to these footers so privacy policy youtube channel blog article social media we have to add links to these icons we have to add links to these individual pages again in the footer and so on and so forth so i'm just going to change a few more things so let's add links to these icons first in the footer let's go to the footer okay so in the footer what you can do is you can add individual links to the footers so we know that we have a facebook page of simple snippets so i'm going to say facebook slash simple snippets just copy this and i can paste it over here of course you need internet to work because this link is on the internet right so it will only work when you are connected to the internet so similarly you can add links to the different social media pages over here what i'm going to do is i'm not going to add any of the links as of now let's keep it hash only for simplicity purpose over here you need to add the individual links of individual pages so let's add them that we can do we have to say web designing over here we have to say web development over here seo services software development mobile apps and graphic design so these links are added if you click on it you are redirected to those web pages coming back lastly we have the mobile number and inquiry you don't need to change this these are dummy numbers and dummy emails don't try to contact over here if you want to send me a mail you can send it at simple snippets info at the rate gmail.com in fact let's change the email so it's going to be simple snippets info at the rate gmail.com and this is the same thing that we have to copy and paste it over here by saying mail to colon and give that address coming to the header let's change mail to to as simple snippets info at the rate gmail.com and the text also over here okay so you can see it's changed now but it is actually taking a little bit more space so you can shrink the size of the text if it is taking too much space you can see it is coming on the next line instead of that i'm just going to keep it something simple let's keep it abc only for now so that it comes in one line you can change the size of this text by targeting it in your custom css if you want anyway so we've added all the links and now what we can do is we can simply completely copy this and go to the about us page and paste it as it is now the only thing you have to change over here is you have to come to the top in the title you have to say about us obviously so that that shows up over here so when you click on about us you can see the same thing is being shown over here but the title changes to about us and the url is about us and here what you have to do is you can see right now in the navigation bar all of them are kind of faint you know so nothing is active over here so what you can do is in this ul li tags there is one more class in bootstrap so just go to the class which is active so right now we are on about us right so this is that li just hit space and say active so once you add this class this is a inbuilt class in bootstrap so once you add this class if you come on the website you can see this link becomes more white and rest of them are kind of faded because it says that the about us page is active similarly if you come on the home page you want the home to be active right so coming to the default dot html what you can do is go to those links and in the li tag you just add this more class active and you can see it becomes white so home and about us is done let's add this complete code to all the other pages so i'm going to go to contact us paste it over here the things to change is the title that is contact us and the link that is active so we know that contact us is active so just add active over here and remove the active from the home so now if i click on contact us you can see the url changes and this gets highlighted so similarly i'm going to add this entire code to all of these pages so that from now on when we move ahead in this series we only have to develop the things that are required particularly for those pages and we already have the footer and header of the entire web page so when you are adding the active class to the inner links so for example over here in the services i am on graphic design and you can see the graphic designing is highlighted because i have added the active class to this anchor tag okay so this is that drop down item and i have added active class over here so similarly if i am supposed to add it to this so this is mobile apps so i'm going to add the active class over here and remove any other active class for example it is there 
on the contact us dot html right so i have to remove this class now if i come to mobile apps you can see the url of mobile apps and mobile apps is highlighted so similarly i'm also going to add active class to these inner drop down links also okay so i have added all the links and you can see that this was a little bit of extra work that we have to do that we have to copy paste the same code over and over again now if we were on a dynamic or server side scripting language we could have made a template or in php you can make this as a template and include it in every page by just one line of code but since we are dealing with static front end scripting in html we have to go this copy paste way and you can see there is a lot of copy pasting happening over here but that's how we go in a very static portfolio situation so if you see on the website pretty much everything is active if you go on portfolio you are getting portfolio link and this is highlighted all our links are also working so i'm keeping these links as blank we can give our links to youtube channel also that is youtube slash simple snippets by the way if you are not subscribed please do subscribe like this video do share it with your friends anyways moving ahead we have about us contact us in the services we have web design it gets highlighted we have web development it gets highlighted and so on and so forth and now we can move ahead with individual development of individual pages so we'll start off with the home page so this is something that we have to develop that is this light blue part then this white section this dark blue section again white section and so on and so forth so you can see the home page is kind of a little bit bigger part but the individual pages that is portfolio section only has this much sections the about us is also small and we can easily go ahead and develop them in single single videos as we move ahead okay so that's it for this video guys in the next video we'll start off with development of individual pages if you like this video do give it a thumbs up share it with your friends let me know in the comments how this video was and i'll see you guys in the next video peace